Uh, well, that escalated quickly. There's the core support on the floor. Cut. Alright guys, we're back here at Brennan's, part two. Welcome back to Smeed for Speed. Things escalated, uh, things escalated quickly, as you saw in the last video. We were just going to um, put the pins in here. We were going to mock this out, cut it out. We started to do that side over there. And uh, we were just going to weld a new little plate in here, you know, that came out farther this way. But trying to weld onto this, this stuff is paper thin. So just warning you, probably not going to be able to do it. The reason it escalated so quickly is because we cut the crap out of that side. And as you can see, this is where we're at now. There is no more core support here. We've only cut this portion out because we had already cut the crap out of it. It's down there on the ground over there. And we've come to the realization that we might as well just do an entire tubular front end. So that's what we're gonna do, which is something I was gonna do in the future anyways so whatever we're doing it now better off just get it done be done so we've got our piece cut here and we're going to start bending it and it's basically gonna you know it's gonna sit down lower and then we're gonna weld tabs on here that'll go to our we're gonna do three tabs one two three for the bumper on the front then it's gonna it's gonna bend this way and then it's gonna bend this way and hook back into here. So it'll all be behind, so we'll have tab that comes off, tab that comes off, and then my hood pin sits like, is gonna sit like right here somewhere. It used to be like right against this back piece here, but it's gonna be over here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to bending right now. We just cut the beat, the piece, picked up a couple. Um, we got some angle, we got some L, you know, the angle iron that we're gonna put on here and cut that uh, drill the hole out so I can still get to my threaded piece then we'll have a flat good thick surface to weld our tube onto here thick. on both sides thick. and there is harsh industries in the flesh thick. so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna get started on that and see how far we get tonight let's go chill, chill, chill. we have made one bend me it's gonna go and then turn I just cut this right here cut these spots Whoa. Great, that, now we gotta redo it. No, we're good. Here, hold up. Anyways, uh, whoa. <laughs> but flash back over to her and be like, Addy, say hi. Hi! Oh, alright, see you later. <laughs> um, anyways, just cut these spot welds off here, came off cherry. I'm gonna lop it off here where I butchered the hole, anyways, and then uh, we're gonna get to keep, keep on bending. So. Here, Bren. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna lop some more off. We're gonna lop some off just to get it out of the way. It's just a Honda. Yeah. That's that's good. It's loud. Get ready. That's the cutest. It was moving and closed. That's why I was trying to hold it open. Cool. Right. So we're getting some meat out of the way so we can uh, get rid of some of the obstacles. Once we get this out of the way, I can lay this piece down. That's going to be nice to do the, the L on. That's cherry right there. Yeah. Cherry we'll have to doll hammer dolly this one a little bit more just to get it a little straighter. But anyways, but looking at how that's nice that actually, side this is, oh, we did tack weld that on there. So we can do that side like this. Yeah. It's not, I don't That'll know. eliminate one of the many rattles. <laughs> Serious. Yeah, so literally what's holding this up now is just these. Yeah, and that center, and, and that little center piece. <laughs> radiator. Yeah, that's, that's not I'm, I'm redoing this whole, we're redoing this whole entire radiator core support just to get rid of just that. Just to fix that. Yeah, because I just. The hood pins were second actually to mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that needed to go. <laughs> like I said earlier, things have escalated quickly, but it was needed, absolutely needed.
Well, core sports off, gone. Now, look at all the room we have. Hell yeah. We got it bent in two places already. A few more bends though to do. Probably two more. We'll probably two just more. Leg it off right here. Yep, up here and then. And on this side and then hopefully, hopefully I'll have enough room in between the headlight and the bar to where we can make a tab for the hood pin to come down and land on. Yep. And then all we gotta do is just, once we make these two little brackets get, here, get the height for the bumper. Yep. You know, we'll slide the bumper under here and, and get it kind of where it needs to be. Yep. To where we can make the tabs right off of it. And then I'll tack, we can tack these in, or yeah. this in here at the height, and then just kind of build off that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just have to bring the hood down for the bumper just because the bumper used to sit on, on the core support before. And then we can make them meet because they basically mm -hmm. touch almost. So, yeah. yeah, that should do good. Is there now? There's an area right here in between you. When you set your bumper, you can reach into here, right? Like if your no, bumper's on, no, can because you get the bump right here. No, you'd have to go right here or behind. The, this is all closed off. Well, I mean, now that that's not there. If you slide your bumper up to where it needs to be, I can. Well, yeah, because right we're here. gonna have we'll have whatever spacing you have on your tabs. That will have we'll have that spacing yeah. between it. Well, just just so I can get because I can get some uh, jack stands underneath this. Oh yeah, and yeah, then yeah. We can slide the bumper on and J just... they'll clear them. Yeah. All right. I mean, the bumper does wrap under though. That's the yeah. That's... As long as I can get to it from the, t we'll figure that. Oh okay. You could use a that's couple pieces saying. of tube. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Yeah. All right, what do we got going on, dude? Oh, well, we've got nothing to hold anything. But we, we do have this beauty. <clears throat> what is it? We've got a couple more bends. We're gonna get it on here. It's gonna sit roughly. Hey, yeah. Right there. We're gonna be lower than the original one. We're gonna make tabs for the headlights, tabs for the bumper, tabs for the radiator, and tabs for the hood pins. All off of this bar. Then we're gonna connect this bar. To the crash bar make a cool little like v shape here mm -hmm. but we just have to make sure it doesn't interfere with the bumper because the bumper does there's not a lot of room yeah but basically what where we're at yeah just make sure that's the right height yep. for the bumper to mount on it so we don't have to make a bunch of weird tabs and then hopefully nail two birds with one stone we can get this bar when it comes up yeah, and kicks over yep. we can get this bar at the same exact angle that the hood pin needs to be when the Hood is shut. Yep. So when the hood's shut, either way, we can weld the tab at whatever angle. Yeah. Technically. Yep. So it'd be easier if it was just a straight. Was, yeah. I mean. And it's it, not a heavy angle, so like like that's too much. You know what I mean? It's not. Mm -hmm. It's almost flat. It's just a couple degrees. That's all it is. Yep. Yep. So then we'll cut this off, shave all that down, pretty. Yeah, we'll clean it, round off the corners. So yeah, yeah, you know what? Corners. We should just go like this, like burn it down there. You know, and then nice little, once this is all together, and you know. You blow the motor, whatever the case is, and you can. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We can pop this off. Cut all this off because this the is whole, welded. Get all the original stuff off. All that. Well, this is all the stock. So take it all support, off. Right. We'll take, yeah, we'll take all yeah. that shit off. So you don't need welded. any of that. This is welded to it though, so we can bend you in a little bit. Well, we'll do a nicer bend. We will clean this up. We'll weld this directly to the frame. Here, hold that. We'll weld that directly to the frame, and then can reconnect it all to the new, the support we're building now. So, all right, let's get to bending the rest of this and we're gonna cut our little L brackets for here that will, for where the uh, fenders mount, get those tacked in and then we'll have a clean flat surface to bend and see where it hits. But that's definitely, yeah. that's definitely gonna be tits. Way better. We'll be doing donuts tonight. Oh wait. <laughs> hey, you got trays, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Easy, right. dude. I know it's kind of hard to hear me, but I'm gonna do my best because we got grinding and a big ass torpedo heater back there on fire. So, but these are the little L brackets we cut out that are gonna go here to weld our new tubular 
frame onto that's going to come out and down. He just started on that side over there, but we drilled the holes to open the holes up uh, to get the fender uh, nut and bolt back in there. So he's just kind of forming them to make them look better and fit better, and then we'll get these guys welded and tacked on, and then continue on with the bar. So. Okay, we got the two ball bent up, mocked up, ready to be installed. We're not, we're, we're gonna call it there for tonight, but as you can see, last bend's here, last bend there, lines up to our tabs that we have, right there and right there. We measured a distance from here, kept that good, measured distance to the floor. We did put the headlight in to kind of see it's gonna work out good. We're gonna, two tabs are right there for the headlight. Hood pin's gonna be right there. Cherry, guys, look at that. That's nice. It's gonna be really nice. Much, much better. We got clearance from the air filter. We got clearance from the radiator. We'll be fine. Hell yeah. All right, that's gonna call for tonight. guys we're in the EG we're heading back to the house I'll go over everything that we did and that'll be it for this video but let's get home first can't see a damn thing going in reverse just uh rubber uh, bushings that go between the pin and the hood itself um, but other than that everything's welded we just got to paint it up and we'll be done
hardest I've hit first gear ever, boys. Absolutely wanted to just spin those tires right now. These tires too that I have, they're the uh, they're they're the Nitto uh, Nitto NTO fives, and they need to be warm for them to really do work. So. Alright guys, race car's back at the house, tubular uh, front course port done, hood pins are done, hood closes, all we got to do is there's little rubber bushings that go between the hood itself when it closes and on the pin, that's like the cushion to make the hood not wiggle, you know, when it's latched, but it does, it's fully latched, there's one rubber thing on one side, I have, I left the other one here on accident, and I need to just cut it real quick, so let me just show you guys the finished product it is absolute money the only thing i need to do is remove the driver side fender out of hair it's it's in a little bit but it's got adjustment enough to clear the hood's kind of just touching it and it kind of messed the paint up a little bit but hey race car life it's all good i knew shit was gonna happen so check it out bam bam look at that absolute money he even threw some tire dressing on there for me just to make her look real nice. It's going to look so goddamn good when this thing's clean. When the side skirts are on. Oh my goodness. So let's check it out. Let me see. Look at how easily this opens. Look at this. Boop. Done. Boop. And done. And then, here's the goodies. Here comes the goodies. Are you ready? Let me just put the hood up real quick. Look at that. So... We got this welded to here. This is bolted in with the fender. So I can take this entire thing out if I wanted to. Pull the motor, do whatever. Come down, we got first hood pin there, welded directly to the bar. Bumper tab. He made a new radiator support tab, which is money. I can take all that off. Coming along, got another bumper support tab here. Coming up, got our other hood pin here at the exact angle it needs to be. I did have this headlight. I do not have a headlight for this side yet. So when that comes in and I get that, he's gonna weld some tabs over there for that headlight. For custom tabs there. And then once again, it's welded here on our L bracket, but our L bracket's bolted in and uh, with a rib nut on the fender. So if I take this bolt out, I take the fender off, this will come loose. We did it that way so this thing could fully come out if we need to, but it's really not gonna move that much because all this stuff's gonna be hooked to it still. This is still in there, so it'll stay in its position, but it came out amazing, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna take the whole thing out, unbolt everything one more time. Last time, paint it just the same that I painted the crash bar. I'm gonna just do black because I'm, I'm already over the green anyways, so I don't really care about any of the green. I'm not touching up any green. So green's gonna go away eventually. I'm gonna start doing everything black. We'll do the whole engine bay later when the motor blows all that good stuff, but yeah, it came out money, guys. Look at that from the side. It just comes and dips right down to the bumper. I mean, you couldn't, you almost couldn't line it up any better. You, you, we did, we did a good job. We did a real good job. See right there, it messed my fender up. God damn it. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's gonna do it for the core support replacement. All because the hood pins didn't line up, but they line up now. So this is the rubber bushing I was talking about. You just gotta get that guy over here. It, and, it, and it helps for when the hood comes down to not have rattle on the hood. Just gives that little cushion. Sits right up here on the bottom side of your, um, in the hole so it kind of just pushes up against that so so yeah that's it guys that's all there is to it 
Uh, if you're building a race car, I absolutely recommend doing it this way. This was the plan all along, like I've said many times, but we needed to do it right now just for the top core support to get that done, to get the hood on. Um, I already had a crash bar made a long time ago, years and years ago, but eventually we're gonna cut that off and get the rest of the bottom, the lower part of the core support off that was there, and we're gonna make that whole thing tubular um, and clean and all connect and all, all one piece, basically. And we'll be able to build um, a badass splitter off the bottom. So that will probably come in the near future because I'm not gonna run any sort of splitter right now. Um, I, just, I just have a factory, like a EG lip that's gonna look clean. Um, I need to get the car dialed, guys. Like, I, I gotta test it out, tune it, fix the wing adjustment. I mean, I have a lot of things to test first before I start getting into all the other crazy aero stuff, So, which I don't even need at this point. I gotta figure out the car, feel it out, see what's going on, so. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, that's it for this video, guys. I appreciate everybody watching and uh, following the channel. Keep it up, let's keep rolling. We're so close. Now that this is done, guys, all I have is little stuff that I can do on my own, no fabrication work, just install it on the car and it's freaking done. Little things, tiny little things, all easy stuff, all gonna be coming up in some next videos, so keep an eye out. And we're going, we're going racing real soon, I can tell you right now. So this was a big, big hump that we just got over and we're good now, so. But yeah, anyways guys, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, let's keep it rolling. But until next time, appreciate everybody watching. Peace.